Okay, who, who was recording? Yeah. On a, uh, our people was yeah, in there? Yeah, you got or? Clubhouse Unlocked was in there. He's our new me. I think he's part of the new media team, Clubhouse Unlocked, Wack. Hey, now, I'm going to say it right now. Clubhouse Unlocked, the rookie of the mother year, 2025. It's really showing, like, I'm really, I'm really showing the world that the streets don't run nothing no more. Nobody cares. What's up, what's up? Welcome to the Clubhouse Unlocked, the newest place to get all the hottest Clubhouse content. If it happened on the Hunter side, it has to do a work on Hunter. You can find it here. The video you are about to watch is what we experience on the daily. Good or bad, nothing is bigger than the content. And if you continue to like my videos, comment on my videos, and subscribe to my channel, I will continue to bring you the hottest content around. Let's get to the content. You are now watching Clubhouse Unlocked. And stuff like that. But I'm just saying though, brother, I can't validate something that if it's, 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 it's a lot of noise in the background, you know, and I'm not gonna say you sitting there lying on him because dudes be saying, what's up with Loose? What's up with Loose? What's up with Loose? If they'll call me and be like, hey, boy, you talk to Loose? I don't even have Loose number, bro. You know, who, I don't have that brother number. All them dudes will call me and ask me about They're all of y'all, man. All of them, right? No, I don't talk to them brothers at all, bro. But who, who else I don't talk them? to Bear Call. I don't call the Big you, U. You I don't talk to it, it just wrecks. It's just random dudes, bro. Yeah, it's but... just random dudes. Okay. So I'm saying, uh, this is what I'm saying, bro. Mm -hmm. If you brothers are standing on facts and you brothers are standing on truth, I'm never going to go against that, man. And I tell dudes all the time, brother, whatever, just like with WAG 100, brother, Big U ran with WAG 100. Of course. You ran with Big You ran with Big You. Big you. Raze house, ran with Big U. 600 ran with Big U. I ran with Big U. So I know my chapter. You guys know y'all chapter, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's one domino. And my, my domino is the first domino because he was my crime. Mm -hmm. And then after that, and then after that is you guys. So I don't know in detail what he have done. You know, I just know the, 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 the brother 600, he's a genuine dude. I, I like this dude, bro. Mm -hmm. He's a genuine dude, bro. You know, Raze, I know Raze since Raze was a kid. I remember Raze was a a kid, a snide old little kid running around there on 10th Avenue because I've stayed on 10th Avenue. Mm -hmm. So I know I know Raze. And I know Raze is genuine. So when it comes down to you, when they, and I ask him about you, I know your father, bro. I've been knowing your father before he even was from over when your grandma when your grandmother was standing at the park, I knew your father because we went to the same high school in Batty High School. Watching mm -hmm. So I know I, I know your pops, bro. So so if I know your pops, you his son. So I what I do is I make sure that there is not gonna be a, a demarcation line that I'm gonna cross to disrespect or anything like that or be like this is that. So whatever you're saying or whatever you got going on, brother, you ran with that brother. Okay, you that's your chapter. You know, so that, that's your chapter. So I'm not going to sit here, bro, and go against none of that. So whatever you guys' truth is, is the, is, is the truth, bro, because that's what I'm going to stand on. You know, like, you talking about the youth, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're talking about if you're talking about the youth, the youth need to know that that stuff over there, brother, you are now is watching Clubhouse Unlocked. To anything that's going to basically have a brother a sister elevate in life of course period listen i'm about to play it to you right right now right now on loud speakers because um i had to plug in my speaker you heard that, right? I'm gonna play it again. Yeah, I heard that. I'm gonna pl play it louder. <coughs> so, like, bro, this up right now. Because I, uh, I'm put up. You, you heard it, right? Yeah, I heard. I heard somebody say Dempsey got killed, bro. But you are now watching Clubhouse Unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, brother? Exactly. You ain't gonna rack my brain. You, you ain't gonna rack my brain on that motherfucker right there, bro. You know, you know. But if you saying is if if, if if you got belief behind that, man, that's that's you know, that's your push, bro. 
You know, just like my push is what I know he did to me, your push is what he did to you, bro. Yeah, no, see, the and I'm gonna keep it a buck, right? My grief with um, Big U is not about what he did to me. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like, I wasn't a, a, a dumb nigga. I'm a street nigga, but I also make money and I, I'm very, very successful at the things I have done. You get what I'm saying? What I'm saying that what Big U do is you you already know him and Wack 100 was brothers, right? They was they was yeah, uh, tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they was, was tight. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so when he was tight or whatever. You are now um, watching Clubhouse Unlocked. Basically, Big U didn't like that Wack didn't help him on a certain thing. So when he didn't help him or whatever with a certain situation, and Wack called him to you know check him as a man to you know do things, then it's like fuck Wack, right? But then when it starts saying fuck whack, but I'm still doing business with whack and stuff like that. Uh, uh, nephew, cut him off. I don't want you fucking with him. Matter of fact, nephew, go kill him for me. You get what I'm saying? That's the shit that he he said and what he wanted to do, right? And then when I told mm-hmm. him, I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that or whatever like that. Go handle your own thing if you got something right with this man because I'm fucking with um, cuz on some business shit, right? And Wack is a good nigga. He never did anything wrong to to cross me. So when I say that and I stand on business or whatever like that, oh, you fucking with Wack, you fucking with the police. And then that's when me and him got in a sideways conversation because he told um, somebody that I was fucking with the police because I'm fucking with Wack um, about some shit. Do you get what I'm saying? When you and Wack was closer than close, but you get paid by the police. You turn in information to the police. I seen you write down serial numbers on a gun and sell them to the homies. I seen certain things that you done. You get what I seen? Um, you tell homies to take a case because um, um, developing options would be on the trial paperwork, on the discovery. You get what I'm saying? So really? I, I seen all that. I seen the bullshit that he was running. So when he said that, that's the grief that I got with him. And then unlocked. it's like, you know, nigga, if I have a, a situation and I told you, I said, you know, when I recorded that conversation, I know that conversation was, uh, shouldn't have been used or whatever. Like, I was never going to use, use this shit or put it out, right? I'm not saying that he had something to do with Nipsey getting killed. All I'm saying is he knew Nipsey was going to get killed. And then I'm warned his little brother, like, quote, unquote, he said he was going to do. But then when Nipsey get killed or whatever like that, now it's like, oh, I'm the n- nigga, the face of 60s now. That's all cuz wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 I think everybody in the, in the world um, view that as that because it's like when Nip, when Nip passed, that's when he started to elevate that, that's the only and but when I say it, then I look crazy, right? You are now watching Clubhouse. Online. When I no, you don't look. No, you don't look. You don't look. You don't look it's, your, it's your delivery, bro. No, look. but how he could deliver. He could deliver something and and say whatever he want to say, right? Like he's he, mm-hmm. like, he tell Rose and him, right? Wait, hold on. But but. Right. So he he's saying I got a okay, uh, so, video so where he's saying Rose when he was supposed to kill me. Rose, I got it on there where Rose said, "Nigga, I was never with you." You get what I'm saying? Like he tried to change the narratives and throw niggas in on certain locked. shit. That's why Rose stopped fucking with him. You get what I'm saying? Because he started lying on Rose. So it's like. You can't sit there and say certain things when you completely lying about everything that you you talk about. He he set niggas up, he do certain things, certain fuck shit, and then niggas supposed to condone that. How can you condone fuck nigga shit? Like you said, he told on you. Right? Then he tried to make it seem like you was telling on him when you was in the pen. What type of fuck shit is that? Yeah, that was some fuck shit. So you, you have to understand this, right? 
you think he got away with it, right? What he did 30 years ago, right? Got away with it, clean. You don't think the nigga's doing that still? Come on, Eddie boy. You got to be... Come on, you... You are, you hey, look, bro. Smart, look, I'm not stupid. I'm not, not, look, listen, 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 I'm not stupid at all, bro. Exactly. And I, and I, and I see the signs. And, and when I tell you, brother, that I don't have nothing to do with that shit over there, it's because dudes know what's going on. And dudes turn a blind eye to it, bro. And that's all I'm saying. You know. That's all I'm saying. Dudes turn a blind eye to it. So my thing is that, this is my thing, bro. If they're going to turn a blind eye to it, that's something they have to deal with. But now, if if it, it's starting to affect like the masses of the people and the kids and stuff like that, of course you guys are supposed to speak on that. Okay, I don't so, have a problem so, with that. So think about this, right? I told him, I said, listen, why you don't coach your kids? Why you don't give out information and stuff like that to the police? Do your job if you're getting paid um, hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it. Just don't stick your nose in hood business if you one way. You can not set up a homie or whatever like that. He comes in in confidentiality and tell you certain things, and then you send him up the river. It don't work that way. Yeah, yes, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why it's gonna work like that, bro. It works like that because if they trust him, right? And if you in that field. If you're in that field where you still getting down the way you're supposed to get out, and you know that brother's position, they don't supposed to trust him like that, right? Mm-hmm. They don't supposed to trust him like that, bro. Mm-hmm. So I know a lot of brothers that have them type of programs, but they they but they not a part of the hood politics anymore. And you that's are now all watching I'm saying. He have to be it only he straddled the fence. You get what I'm saying? How can you call calls and sh- yeah, shots? you can't. You, yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't do that. But I have, a, like I said, bro, I know a lot of brothers, man. Yeah. That's in them type of programs, and, but and they, they, they're, mm-hmm. they quit. They, 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 they not with it no more. They, they base. That's their job. They, they their job is to. Cause they're brothers. Believe me, bro. I, I, I didn't do my homework on all this stuff. Of course. Right. And I asked, I asked, I asked brothers that's in that stuff. I'm mm-hmm. like, what do you? What did you guys? job description and what they tell me bro they have to work with them people bro irregardless of what you're talking about exactly you that, have to. that's what i already know because i i seen it firsthand and that's all i'm trying to tell you eddie boy is the nigga works with the police he gets paid by the police and he does police shit so it's like bro and then you can't send the homies to go do unlocked. some dirt or you you want to hit the lake with the homie and you still doing police shit it doesn't you can't be one way or the other it's facts i'm, I'm not refuting that. like i said bro i'm not refuting that because you was you was with him during that chapter you was with him you know because i probably was i probably was still locked up when you guys were still you know um swaying like that because he came home way before i did yeah uh, and exactly why you know you so you know so he came home way before i did and you guys was out here swaying and stuff like that like i said you guys have a chapter and like i told you bro i'm not a, i'm not against you whack 100 600 whoever bro i'm not against none of you brothers but man you, you, because you have, i understand but eddie boy you you know the truth and you don't accept it and you don't say you speak on it. No, and it's he, not. He, it, he, it, I don't, you know what? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell, tell, tell you what I speak on what I know for a fact. So you know for a fact he's uh, he's a police snitch ass nigga, right? I know for a fact the nigga got out on me, bro. Okay, so he's a police snitch ass yeah. nigga. So if he, if he told on you, Nigga, it's thousands of niggas he's telling on. He works with the grid program. That's his job to tell on niggas. Okay, exactly. So this is what this is what I'm trying to get you to understand. There's truth in every in every step of what I'm talking about. You, you for me, to say hundred to you, it, it's just truth. But for 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 me to speak on, like say for instance, they'll be like. Okay, um, you are now watching you know, the um, whatever you said, what you said, and they asked me, I was like, what the fuck, I don't know, go ask Miss Cannon. 
because I can't speak on what you know. No, I, and I'm not gonna I, I, sit I, I and, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna refute what you know. No, I, I understand that, but what I'm trying to do is understand is kids involved, right? He coaches a football right. league. Okay. So he's letting these kids grow up thinking one way but doing another. You cannot sit if you want these kids to stay out of gangs, violence, drugs, all this other stuff like that. You can do one thing and didn't do the other. You causing destruction. You're not building. What is you building? You actually destroying something that you're trying to build at the same time. Just to say I'm still hood. You hear what I'm saying? You telling on the homies and stuff like that, putting them in jail, telling them to take deals and stuff like that because you don't want your paperwork to be on a development option. You are now watching um, Clubhouse mystery Omar. thing give. Um, you know, his no, it, it, it's not gonna, it's not, it's not gonna say development. It's gonna say community leaders. Well, community leaders. There you go. You yeah, mean, that, that's what that's what's gonna say because I didn't see work like that already. Yeah, so it's gonna say community leaders. Okay, so it's not gonna say development options. Okay, now who runs developing options? Big U, right? We agree to that. Yeah, you guys. That was yeah. That was, that's what he said. He said that on uh, Clubhouse when he he got up on there and said when he made that last thing. He said that I didn't tell on the case. Um, uh, he, he got all these people. Yeah, he said he run development options. Yes, he, that's what he said. That okay. So well, he run development options, and we know their description. They have to give information to the police. They have to do the, They have to do crowd control, right? So when Nipsey yeah, died, right? Why the lot. fuck is you <laughs> in on Crenshaw and Slauson and you having a motherfucking party? We all seen it. Oh, you talking about days later over there on um, 58th and um, right there, you talking about at the, um, what are you fixing at the, um, what you call that shop? Mm -hmm. um, you talking about when they it, it was at that No, they was at the shop right there, bro, on, um, Slauson and because I seen the background, Slauson and I think um Keniston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they was right there. They yeah. always be right there. It was right there. Okay. Yeah, so, that was that's what it was at. So, but that was like that was like some few days. That was like right. It wasn't. A, I think it was like. No. I'm after talking, after. Now watching dude, I, I know what you're talking about right there, but I'm talking about when uh -huh. Nipsey got killed and everybody went to the parking lot. We was at the gas station. And we was um in the in the thing. He would nigga, it was like a celebration to him. It wasn't no, oh, I I, really? I feel bad about that. You get what I'm saying? Like nigga, if your brother nigga, we have to go find this nigga. You get what I'm saying? How would the police find shitty? How did they find shitty? Um, he, I don't know. Oh, did they did they say he oh, turned okay, himself in? Listen, how would they find Shitty? Shitty would Shitty stayed in Long Beach. Shitty was a, a smoker. You get what I'm saying? How would they find mm -hmm. his whereabouts? How did they get his number? <laughs> no. Come on, Eddie boy. We, let's make sense. All right, just 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 just, 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 just the dots, bro. Oh, that's all. Because that's what I'm just connect to, the dots. I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You you know how the situation goes with him. You know how it, it, it works, right? The police got shitty or whatever. Didn't the nigga turn himself in? Yeah, he did. Okay. Why did he turn himself in? Didn't he? He know it was how in the fuck we, um, Big U reported he was with a bitch. Yeah, I didn't know that part either. He he went in the alley. He double back Buster ass cowboy and Grandpa was there when Nipsey got killed, and they ran like hoes. Oh, so I seen Grandpa run. You you seen Grandpa? I didn't see right? cowboy run. I seen I seen Rampa run. I seen Rampa run like he was Jesse Owens. I didn't I didn't see cow. I didn't I didn't I don't know. I didn't see Cowboy. I just I, when Clubhouse I seen the tape, Mark. I seen um. Rampa I seen I, yeah. And then you see yeah, Cowboy. Rampa ran towards Crenshaw. Yeah. So so think about this, right? These niggas know it's about to happen. They seen it happen. Then nigga shitty double backed, right? 
you shot him. He's on the ground and stuff like that. These niggas could have pulled cuffs to safety. They could have did all types of shit, right? They let this nigga go to, uh -huh. to the alley, jump in the car. He must got a phone call like, oh, he's not dead. Come back or whatever like that and shoot cuz again. Is is do, do, I see I didn't I see I didn't know that part. I thought he did all that everything at no, one at one. No, he doubled back, bro. He doubled back. You are now he ran watching into the alley. I would have jumped in the car, mm -hmm. got out the car again, ran back and finished it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I didn't know that, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So uh, <clears throat> by the time that happened, Cowboy Buster ass could have um, pulled him to the safety, pulled him into the store, anything. Rampa ran like a hoe. Shit, yeah, he, he wasn't ran, aiming bro. at them. Y'all gotta start making it make sense. Like, but he, he hit went cousin Carrie. Why did he, he? He went to why, go why get he his hit, man. Why, why he hit cousin Carrie then? On How many accident. times did he hit cousin Carrie? On, On accident. accident? Mm. You have to really think about that, Eddie boy. Listen, cuz you are now watching nobody. Why, why, Grandpa is not get put off the hood? Do you get what I'm saying? Why, Cowboy is not put off the hood? Oh, these niggas went to the uh, they went to Grandpa went to, I mean, Cowboy went to court and told, got on the stage. Where is Grandpa? Huh? Where is Grandpa? Grandpa is in the hood still. No, is he? Yes, Grandpa is still in the hood. Doing his music, shooting his videos, all that, bro. Cuz still in the hood. Cowboy, a child molester. Yeah, bro. I, I, no, that's, see, that's something no, I don't. No, I, no, Eddie boy, he's a child. I don't molester. agree with that. I know that. I understand that. I ran his name. So how the fuck is this bitch ass nigga gonna speak on any hood business? He's the worst nigga. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you telling me you don't know why he's doing why he's speaking on her business? Are you telling me you haven't you, you haven't Clubhouse deciphered what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I did because Big U got him running around because he got a little voice. So Big U is having him cover up the fuck shit that Big U doing. So the Big U like, oh you can come around, you can come back and stuff like you hood, you this and this and this. It's a proven fact. They were just there together like, like two weeks ago. You get what I'm saying? In the hood. In the same spot that you just named. Or whatever. Um, chilling. Pulled up on him and all that stuff like that. They, big you sitting down in a chair. Like, come on. like He's a pedophile, bro. He's the worst type of nigga. I seen that. This nigga can go to no schools. He can even pick up his kids if he wanted to you are now watching clubhouse unlocked <clears throat> so it's like nigga when we give giving people facts facts bro niggas want to act like we lying about something no nigga we no, tell dude, I'm gonna, but, 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 but this is just okay okay you're right so this is the thing that you need to always try to understand Brother, dudes don't like the truth. And, and and that's what I'm trying to tell you. Niggas don't understand that you, you say they um, don't like the truth, but then you you get on uh, on the thing and you trying to downplay the situation, I, King. When you, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm not down. Look, 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 this this is my, this is my thing, bro. This this is um, be clear, and I'm gonna be clear. I'm tired of niggas asking me that mm -hmm. that same fucking question over and over and over again. Right? Watching Clubhouse online. My case is public record. No, I understand. read that shit. But, okay, yeah. okay. I'm I'm I telling see. dudes. I'm, this is what I'm this is what I'm saying, bro. Read that. I do not have to validate nothing because when 600 ran, he ran, he he ran that, you know. And he, they recorded that, so he ran that. So if he ran that, I don't need to validate nothing, bro. I told these dudes this thirty years ago, brother. Mm -hmm. You know, I told them this thirty years. I told these dudes thirty years ago, and I, and by me 
bringing it up, keep bringing it up, bringing it up, dudes. I don't need to validate that, bro. I'm like, fuck, motherfucker, you niggas, don't, you dudes don't know how to read? Read. Yeah, yeah but you see, the, the thing is, they, they do uh, want to do it, but people will really say, well, Eddie Boy never really admitted it. It was a phone call. But you now, since you got on live to everybody and you admitted it or whatever and said that basically cuz told on you, now it looks bad. You see how everybody was fighting for Big U in those comments at first because he had his little minions in here. Once you said that, all that stuff ceased and it, it stopped. If a nigga send you a cease and desist, right? That means he's mm-hmm. admitting guilt. He's trying to stop it or whatever like that. And I'm just telling him, like, bro, all you have to do is just say, man, I got the call or whatever like that. And it happened or whatever like that. I, I, I forgot to warn Nipsey. He could say anything. But nigga, don't just sit there and say I'm lying because I you can bring up all types Clubhouse of shit that you have done. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's what he... He's scared of, he's scared that I could hurt him. And I've been hurting him. But nigga, you can't tell a nigga like me that I'm working with the police. Because I'm fucking with the nigga that used to fuck with you, heavy. You get what I'm saying? Like, bro, you you assaulted my character. You, you downplaying me. So now, nigga, I could show you. I could really hurt you and fuck off your whole... Every, your whole establishment or what you got going a little bit left. I'm not 600. I'm not whack. I'm not a little rosé. They got their own gripe with him. I got shit that is facts and it's proven. Just like I'm breaking shit down to you, King is proven. Mm-hmm. It's proven. A, a, a nigga ain't gonna tell you that the nigga shit he double backed or whatever like that. He, he ain't gonna tell you that. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, he doubled you are back. You now watching Cowboy Was there? Grandpa, you seen Cuz running like a track star? You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I seen that. Yeah, so you you can't say all this shit and like, damn, how the fuck this nigga picked a perfect timing when Nipsey had a motherfucking album out that just released. Nigga, two weeks ago that he's supposed to be on tour knows he's at the shop at that perfect time. Come on, cuz. Like, we not stupid. Yeah, man, but it's like, bro, anything, let me tell you, let me, let me, let me just give you a little, a little game a little bit, bro. See, you out here doing stuff with a lot of dudes wishing to do, bro. And I commend you on whatever you got going on, your success, um, whatever it may be, bro. And you just, and my thing is, you could, I pay attention, I, what I do is I pay attention to brothers, man. I pay attention, I analyze brothers, I dissect brothers and stuff to my, and things of that nature. You are doing what you need to do, right? Mm-hmm. To solidify yourself in, in society, uh, to make things good for you, your family, or whatever it may be. You know, but my thing to you, bro, you ain't never got to prove nothing to nobody. If, if you put the truth out there and you don't believe you, that's on them, bro. No, I know. You know, because I'm, I'm not putting it out like that, King. I'm just giving people awareness because so they can open up their eyes and, and move away. Because exactly, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But and everybody's not going to be on your side, though, right? You understand that, right? Okay. And, and I love it. So, yeah. I love it when. People go against me. You are and now watching Clubhouse it's like, Unlocked. You know how like it's scientific proven about certain things. So when things happen and then they be like, damn, this nigga told me this shit. I should have been listening two years ago or three years ago or a month ago and stuff like that. It, it's, it, it gives me the satisfaction to like, yeah, you dummy. He ran you onto a, a, a railroad, just like he uh, a brick wall, just like he did with Brick Baby, right? Brick Baby is getting clamped all through the internet and all this other stuff like that. But you, all he have to do is just step up and say, um, Brick, that's my man and all this other stuff. He spoke for me when uh, niggas was trying to slander my name. I'm going to do the same thing. Did he once do that? Nah, I, I, feel, I, I, I feel that they, uh, be honest with you, bro, dealing with uh, that brother's situation, I feel that that, that was fucked up. And did nobody come to his defense? And my thing was this, bro. It's like, 
when you dealing with the neighborhood rolling sixties, we was the first neighborhoods mm-hmm. in jail and, and, and all that stuff. So, dude, we used to safeguard. We used to safeguard the forties. You know, we used to protect them brothers and all that stuff. And I think dudes forget, man, the history uh, went on, man, because we, if, if it wasn't for the neighborhood sixties, brother, a lot of them hoods wouldn't have been nothing, bro. So, and I feel that was messed up, man, because but, but I think. The, why big you didn't say anything? It's just what I'm thinking is that I don't know. And that's why I'm saying, man, I think that was messed up because it's like, it's like Brick Baby is, if you, if you, if you, you analyze Brick Baby, bro, you can tell he's, he's trying to make a transition, right? Can you tell that? Of course. He's trying to make a transition into, podcast. you know, to, to the you know, podcast and rap and stuff like that, right? And I'm going to tell you his down. You know what his downfall is? Is that he bathroom. always got... Not watching Clubhouse a lot. <laughs> yeah, but this is what his... This is what his he may be... This is his downfall. He always said, only dead homies and six soul. He need... He need to... This is what he need to do. He need to eradicate that about his vocabulary. Right? Because once he keep doing that, he dude's going to feel that... Dude, dude's gonna feel that with that energy mm-hmm. when you bring that energy dude's gonna you're gonna have to stand on that energy but he's not with that energy too much no more you can see that you can he tell I'm just, uh, I'm just speaking um for a fact not saying i'm not gonna say brick baby is a full buster what i'm saying is that brick baby you he, are now watching he clubhouse unlocked. went on big youth defense so hard and and doing certain things right but now big you is trying to sue the company that you went hard for so you think you think they you think you think he so the deceased letter it's just a deceased letter do you think there's a lawsuit coming behind that no he's he's trying to stop it. What, what big you trying to do is say fuck it get rid of these interviews and stuff like that that you doing with loose cannon and stuff like he don't say shit about 600 he don't say shit the only people that he knows that could really hurt him is me and whack right and you so at the end of the day is all he's doing is just saying um the the same shit like the same exact shit or whatever just stop it he did did once he say hey uh, I'm going to stand up for Brick Baby or whatever like that. The 40s, if y'all got a problem or whatever, you are now y'all pull up on me. Unlocked. He didn't say that not one time. Yeah, that's that's what that's what I thought that was fucked up about it because I I, I, really, <laughs> I was like, man, when I, cause I, I, I was bouncing behind it. I was like, man, when when did that start happening? When did the other dudes from other neighborhoods push up on you? Know, I was like, when did, when did that start happening? You know, but you know, it was all a play for that brother job. You know, them dudes want that spot. It ain't gonna take a rocket science to figure yeah, that yeah. out. They but, wanna be in that dude, that dude, that dude position. And, and say that they it possibly can, they will probably want his spot, right? But at the end of the day, can they also validate why why he didn't come to his defense? Because he fucked with ice and all of them. You get what I'm saying? He fucked with little Pee Wee and all of them. All he had to do was just be like, listen, knock it off. That's the little homie and I'm going to stand by him. I'm going to stand beside him. None of that happened. He don't give a fuck about nobody. He, now he will run Clubhouse everybody unlocked. into the dirt to save his life. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I know that for sure. You ain't got to tell me about that. I know that man don't care what shit about nobody but himself. I, bro, you ain't got to tell me that. I know that for a fact. And so the, that that like yeah, I know that for a fact. So it's like just like me and his situation. So it's like for a fact. It's like even when he got on Clubhouse, he was trying to say how the, um, the play went down with me and him. He was lying about the play because I'm the one set all the plays up. He ain't never set no plays up. I'm the one that set always set everything up. He never did that. The only thing I used to come get him like man, let's go. And that's it, and that's all. He never set no plays up or he nothing like no that. But for itself, for itself. He always you are now watching the clubhouse and like Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, exactly. The, yeah. yeah. See, I know him so well. I know him better than he know himself. He's stupid. The nigga is dumber than a box of rocks. And he's thinking that he could just yell and scream with his dumbass voice. And niggas post, like, nigga, we young. We don't give a fuck about none of that shit. 
you, you know the youth of America is fucked up. So it's like, like you ain't lying, y'all. Is, you ain't lying, bro. Yo, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> man, you guys are so you guys are something else, man. Yeah. I, 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 I'm like, but it's, it's true. I'm like, you know why? Because we see niggas that come before our, our time still do fuck shit and never want to change it, never want to do the high road and be like you. I, I respect it because you got on live. I didn't respect that you was denying this shit, but I respected that you. No, I wasn't. Den- I never see once. You this, are now this, watching this, this is what I'm telling you, bro. I never denied nothing, right? What I don't, I just don't answer shit until I get ready to answer shit, yeah, I understand that. right? Because you know, one thing, I'm not a boy. Mm-hmm. I'm never been a boy, mm-hmm. right? And I don't give a shit what a nigga think about me, bro. I really don't. So what I don't do is I'm not gonna validate anything unless I want to validate something. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's like. Dudes be want to know. Do you know how many dudes and got at me to be on podcasts? Want to pay me to do this? Pay me? You know how many motherfuckers and got at me, bro? That I got at my family. Or, you know my my cousins and them from East Coast. Be like, man, tell Eddie, man, tell Eddie, man. I be like, man, fuck that shit. Because first of all, you dudes, you dudes got these podcasts. But you dudes want me to come over there and explain something, say something, but I'm not gonna benefit off none, none of that shit. You, you understand what I'm saying? Cool. I'm not going to benefit that's, off nothing. Yeah, so that's where it's at. I understand that and I can respect that. So if a nigga don't want to, you, you should feel it, but you should tell a nigga, oh, I'll come up on here, but give me 500 or or $1,000 or 1500 or 2000 You can speak up, but closed mouth don't get fed. So if you, if you wanted to benefit off of telling your story, Nigga, just say that. Just tell the nigga. I set up some some podcast for you, and you could get paid for it. You get what I'm saying? Is people want to hear the truth? They don't want to. They don't want to keep hearing the nigga still burning the youth. This nigga coaching eight, nine, ten year olds or whatever like that, giving them um, high horses, but then telling them to bang six zero. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, what type of stupid shit is that? So they're saying, listen. Stay in school or whatever like that. Do your thing. I'm going to train you and stuff like that. I got my son in the NFL. I could get y'all. Like, he's not doing that. This nigga back door and doing stupid shit. Cussing the kids out. Calling them little bitches. Like, y'all playing like hoes and shit. Like, like come on. He's destroying the community. And niggas is, is, is allowing that because he's so-called big U. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, bro. So that 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 be that's that's my thing. I'm not gonna validate anything for nobody, bro. You know, because I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. When I'm gonna tell you some real shit, bro. When six hundred, cause I never got that. I never got that six hundred, and I never got that whack, bro. Six hundred reposts me, bro. Somebody gave six hundred my number, mm-hmm. and when six hundred told me what happened to him, bro, I, as a as like a just as a man yeah, having some type of sympathy for a dude. I told him what happened between me and that brother, bro. I told him what happened between me and him, right? And then 600 ran ran the story. He ran the story, brother, without telling me, right? So I'm at work, and I'm like, I get a thing, I get a text, and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, wow. So I called the brother. I said, hey, bro, I don't care if you're going to do that. Give me a fucking heads up, man. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I told him. I said, bro, you didn't even give me no heads up because I didn't know nothing about this YouTube mm-hmm. or nothing like that, whatever. You know, I didn't know nothing about none of that stuff, man, until like recently on, you know, dudes doing all this type of stuff and stuff like that. I used to hear about whack going on, the, going on the dude. I used to hear about 600 going in on him and stuff like that. But I was just basically lacing 600 how the brother was. And he ran with the story. You are now watching you know Clubhouse Unlocked. Oh yeah, that's why I don't be saying shit. That's why I, that's why I, that's why I'm trying not to say nothing, you know. So it's just like, dude, I'm telling you, bro, this shit is so deep. It's deeper than what you guys even can phantom up about, bro. No, I know, I understand. I, I really, I this really shit is this shit understand. is so fucking deep, bro. And and I told six I said, bro, do you know how deep this shit is? I said, man, I was there. I was there. 
this shit, man, I said, man, this shit is huge. This shit can blow up into a fucking... Uh, you think you think Snowfall was good? Snowfall ain't got shit on this shit. No, I said, I, this shit is huge. Yes, no, I you understand, not watching but Clubhouse you have to unlocked. really understand. Like, you was accusing us on recording when you should have just said... 600 recorded me and I didn't like it and I didn't give him my permission. You get what I'm saying? That's all you had to say. No, that's what I was telling you, but you wasn't listening because I no, guess I heard the you. brother, he was just, I said, brother, they secretly recorded me. Not you guys. I said, they. Yeah, but did Wax Go back and listen to the thing. Did, did Wax secretly recorded you? No, I'm saying six, because I asked 600. I was like, hey, bro. Who recorded? Who, who? I was like, see, you know, I was like, man, six hundred. But he, he took the blame for it, bro. So six hundred, six hundred did it, and then Big U secret recorded me, right? See, Big U got at me and told me, this is what he told me, bro. When when I was at work, I was in front of like a whole bunch of my clients, so that they called me, you are and I couldn't really talk. Unlocked. I couldn't really talk, brother, because I was trying to lay into the brother that called me but I couldn't really do it man because I was in front of my clients mm -hmm. so I'm like look man just follow the rules and the regulation of the law cause the dude big you was like hey man hey, hey, you gotta help help clear me if you help clear me man I'll get these affidavits for your brother remember when I talked to you bro mm -hmm. and I told you that I told you that so what they did was they tried to backdoor me so when big you big you tried to backdoor me with the conversation and then when 600 came out with my, with my original conversation, I really didn't care because I was pissed off because they said they was going to help my little brother and didn't do it. So I didn't give a fuck. Mm. I didn't give a fuck, bro. That's what they did. That's how they tried to backdoor that first conversation. And he said he promised me them affidavits from PDWAC and all the time, even from your father, you bro. Now watching he promised me all that shit. So he promised is, me. He promised me. This is what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna um, get on the phone with my pops, and then I'm gonna call you tomorrow, and then we, yeah. we work it out. I'm gonna do something real that these niggas is not doing for you. But Petey Wack is a snitch, so I don't know what you. Well, yeah, yeah, we already had that, brother. I, I destroyed him up in the penitentiary. Yeah, no, I got into it. I destroyed him. Yeah, like you know, no. No, bro. You ain't. You ain't. You ain't hear me. I, I know what it was. I destroyed it. And that's the crazy so part. it's like, you know, it's like these dudes, man. They, they, it's like my they got my little brother up in here, right, bro? You are now watching shit. Clubhouse Unlocked. And I'm not telling them dudes, and I'm not telling nobody to say who did it. I'm just saying, bro. The police made these dudes make these statements. Just retract the statement. They say the police made you just say this because back in our day they was pressuring dudes to do that, bro. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, well then you ain't got to say who did what. Yeah, well then yeah, Petey Wack, you know he's a big use ass, so well you could probably kiss that statement the affidavit goodbye. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I know that for sure. So it's like I I know I was in New Delano with um Petey Wack, so it's like. Uh, the nigga Tramp D came knocking on my cell door talking about I got paperwork. Are you a real 6 or not? I would like that. I go press the homies like because Petey Wack telling. Next thing I know, nigga saying, oh, are you tripping? You, you, we get tired of the youngsters trying to run the yard. You get what I'm saying? I end up going. Who gave you the paperwork? Crazy D? Somebody from where? Gangster, yeah. right? Yeah, come on. I already, I seen that. You talking about crazy D paperwork? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I seen. I've been seeing that, but I seen. We seen all. We all seen that. We seen that all in, in my era. Come on, like so mm -hmm. you, you know. So that, that is what that is, bro. Because it's like, and then it's not like I wanted to deny nothing on there, bro. I just don't. I'm just not a boy, bro. And I always been like that. I'm. I'm, a, I'm when it comes down to stuff like that. I'm a rebellious type dude. You know, I'm going to tell you what time it is and stuff like that, but I'm not going to keep on re re repeat myself. And I don't want no brownie points from that dude, Big U, because, dude, I don't even talk to that dude no more, bro. He called me at, out, of 30, out of 30 years, in 30 years, bro, 
he called me one fucking time and that's when 600 now watching released that stuff and he called me on me to help him he didn't apologize and do shit and i was like man that's on you man and then he was like, oh, man, you know, and he was like, I, you know, I'll get you these affidavits. And so I'm telling you, bro, he called all my brothers, he called all the Muslim brothers and everything. He was like, man, y'all, you know, kill Ed, man. Y'all got, y'all need to help me with Ed, man. You know, so that's, that's how that went, bro. So that's how, see, see, dudes don't, see, brothers that's not in tune on what's really was going on because I haven't got up there and said anything. That's why I say. That's why I say, man, this stuff is deep, man. They just hearing it from six hundred, right? They hear it from six hundred, and they hear it from one of my comrades that was up in the penitentiary. Was big. He was talking about uh, they was whooping my ass every day in the pen. But, but like, dude, it, man, you got to be out your mind, dude. You nigga didn't home, touch me. Right? Yeah, the brother from Long Beach, Adisa. Yeah, come on, listen. I, yeah, I know all that. Come on, King. I know. No, ain't nobody touch me up in that joint, brother. I and then you see dudes, dudes, I know. dudes get it twisted, man. And, and and see, he he know, and he know if, hey, bro, I done caught that brother several times by himself, man. If you think he would have done me like that, man, I like I said, bro, I've never been scared of nobody, man. Nobody, bro. But I choose best to leave that shit alone and keep it pushing, bro. Because it, it just like now, the dominoes are falling. Yeah, but since you have a, a, a great heart. And I mean, I commend you because my heart is not that big. You are now watching Clubhouse Unlocked. Yeah, but it's not the fact that I have it's, it's not the fact that I have a heart, man. It's the fact, man, that I have I you know, I have a I have an alien mother out here, bro, mm. that I have to look out for, right? I have a little brother inside the penitentiary, so it's bigger than me. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you took this, this shit is big. This, yeah, this shit is bigger than me. You know, so I have I have to you know fulfill my duties just like just like for your pops, bro. In regards to what niggas say about your father, bro, that's your fucking father. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you gonna look out for your father and fuck what everybody else is talking about. Mm-hmm. And dude, and dudes don't understand this type of stuff, bro. You know, when you, when you talk about family, I mean, this shit is deeper than with that homeboy shit. No, I, I, you know, I know. I, I really so that's know. but the, my phone got literally one percent. So you are now watching I'm the clubhouse. All right, then, brother, tap in with me tomorrow, man. My pops on the line. All right, all right, cool. I promise, I got you. All right. Good. All right. We here at Clubhouse Unlocked appreciate all our loyal subscribers, but we can always use more. From now on until we hit 5k subs, 5 new subscribers win a cash prize from us. Each winner will be picked at random. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel. Thank you all for watching Clubhouse Unlocked. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get into the content.